We didn't have anything. We was taken and stolen from our land to work for free, to build this beautiful country that you call America. There is a, a police brutality against this gentleman called George Floyd, and it, it's not the first time it's happened, but it definitely did spark what I believe is the beginning of like a really big revolution. People are dying. People are being targeted by police, not because of what they've done, but what they look like. Because coronavirus, everyone is at home, so a lot more people saw this video. Of all the protests that's happening, I think it's really, really great. Um, they're like large groups going into the busiest streets of their city and just protesting and causing a pause for people to see and get them heard and stuff like that. The looting, I do not really support. In relation to the message trying to get passed, I feel like that's a big, big flaw and like it defeats the purpose of what's happening out there. There was a champs here in our community burned down and those services are for our own community. I understand there's protesters doing looting, but it's not just them. Some people saw the looting happen the first time around and decided to join in and make the whole protest look bad. But because of the riots, we're pointing everyone out and things are happening. Our people are starting to get behind Black Lives Matter because they see the injustice in that. The people who are supposed to protect and serve didn't protect him. They killed him. It needs to be thought of. Something needs to be presented in order for us to get past this. I mean, obviously, it's it's not going to come back overnight, but at least we have an idea of where to get started. A new generation. I thank you, young people. I thank you, young people, for standing up, having a conversation.